Hello kids! Today I am going to read you a story for good night and it's my favorite story. It's a story called The Very Hungry Caterpillar and it was written by Eric Carl and they gave me permission to read this book and it was published by Penguin. So I'm going to read you The Very Hungry Caterpillar. In the light of the moon lay a little egg on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry green caterpillar. So hungry. He started to look for some food. So on Monday, he ate through one apple but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. Yum, 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 yum. On Wednesday, he ate through three, one, two, three purple plums, but he was still hungry. Yum, 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 yum. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four red strawberries. But he was still hungry. On Friday, look, he ate through the strawberries, but he was still hungry. So on Friday, he ate through five oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But he was still hungry. <laughs> oh no! So on Saturday he ate through one piece of chocolate pie, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. Oh, he said. Ay, 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 ay. So the very next day he ate one green leaf and then he felt much better. The little, the little caterpillar was not hungry anymore and he was not little. He became a big and fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon and stayed inside that cocoon for 14 days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then... <gasps> Are you ready? He became a beautiful butterfly. Bye, little hungry caterpillar. Bye, kids. Good night.